Hey everybody, this is Rich Brooks of Flight New Media. We're a web design and internet marketing company and today I'm going to be talking about RSS or Real Simple Syndication. If you're like me, you're probably trying to stay on top of your industry, stay ahead of the competition and there is just a lot of information out there and you need to make sure that you're getting the most constant up-to-date information. Or maybe you're just feeling overwhelmed by the amount of information out there and you need a better way to manage it. In either case, RSS may be the answer. So today I just want to show you the benefits of RSS and then how you can subscribe to an RSS feed yourself. The first thing you're going to need is a newsreader and there are a lot of free choices out there. There's NetNewsWire, NetVibes, Bloglines, Google Reader, and uh, my personal favorite is just the iGoogle page. This is a free tool. Sign up for a free Google account and boom, you've got an iGoogle page. Each one of these boxes down here represents a different blog that, or podcast or social media site that I subscribe to. Now, for example, here's the Pro Blogger Blog Tips blog. It's a lot of blog. And on any one of these links, I could click on these links and I would go directly to the Pro Blogger site where I could read the post. Or I can just click on the plus sign and be able to read this post right here from within the page. And so you can see that over a cup of coffee in the morning, I can catch up on quite a few different blogs. Because obviously some of these I may have already read or they're not all of interest to me, but it's a great way to quickly catch up on my industry literally in about 15 minutes over a cup of coffee. Now this is all geared towards social media and web marketing and blogging. You could just as easily create a page at iGoogle or one of the other uh, newsreaders around dog training or balloon racing or whatever it is that, that interests you. So now let me show you how you can subscribe to those blogs. And we're just going to use the flight blog, our own blog, as an example. Now I'm sure you've seen this ubiquitous RSS symbol on your favorite blogs or podcasts. And if you have never signed up for something, like I said, first you'll need that personalized iGoogle page or whatever your newsreader is, and then you can just click on subscribe via RSS. Now your experience might vary a little bit, but basically what you have here is I can subscribe through one of these services. I'm going to choose to go ahead and subscribe via Google, and then I have the choice. Do I want to add this to my Google Reader or my Google Home page, which is iGoogle, and I'm going to choose the Google Home page. And there it is. There's a flight blog. And we can see that the same posts that were just there on the home page of the flight blog are right there within this page. And that's it. Pretty simple, huh? So go out there, get yourself a newsreader, and then head over to the flight blog and be sure to subscribe to our RSS feed. And you'll be all set. Until next time, this has been Rich Brooks of Flight New Media, offering you web design and internet marketing. For more information, be sure to visit our website at www.flight.biz.